strong magnitude 5.5 earthquake hit south of San Diego, Baja California area. It's the area of mantle plume that feeds west coast high threat volcanoes, as well as what goes into east uh, feeding Yellowstone as well. This is the exact location of our earthquake today, 5.5 magnitude. It was felt by, uh, I would say, the latest are 4,758 people reported feeling it, so many tens of thousands must have felt it. Uh, this is the area of we of the, uh, as you can see here, that diagonal cut shows us the mantle plume. It goes all the way from Baja, where we had the exact quake today, and goes up, in this case, showing us how it feeds Yellowstone. So 5.5, uh, as we can understand, we'll see the shake map, uh, is not a small earthquake. And uh, we have a lot of fault zones there. We have the San Andreas, we have the Ridgecrest, and we have areas of volcanic fields. This is a cross-section of a part of the mantle plume that lies underneath the Long Valley Caldera in the area of the Mono, Mono Lake, Mono Inyo craters uh, under the uh, area of Long Valley. This is just a section of that mantle plume. And this is the picture of the area of Mono Lake, part of the uh, supervolcano of Long Valley Caldera. It's not far from Ridgecrest, it's north of Ridgecrest, about a hundred and some odd miles. Let's take a look at the maps together. Okay, this is it, the 5.5, and uh, I noticed that it's just uh, basically uh, UTC time is 3.52 a.m., but about an hour before that, about UTC 2.40 a.m., we had a deeper quake in uh, Costa, Buenos Aires, Costa Rica, 5.2 an hour before that. So it because of the fact that it's on the same subduction area, I wouldn't be surprised if it, and we also have these here as well. Okay, but these were later in the evening. Um, so this is what, where we're going to, the 5.5, and uh, felt by almost 5,000 people. Let's go to the shake map so we can see what's happening. Shake map. Okay, and then go to the aerial. You can see it better this way. And also the fault lines. You can see better where, where it's... Uh, there we go. Okay. And uh, population density. All right. And move out a little bit. You can see a little bit more. Okay, this is Los Angeles. And this is San Diego. We... Uh, I did uh, post a video concerning the very um, uh, unknown, well, not unknown, but uh, very dangerous fault running right through San Diego, right here, this one here. Okay, and uh, they're expecting a big quake on that one. But as we can see here, unfortunately, the shake map stops at this square. That's San Diego, that's Los Angeles. It stops at this square, but you can see how intense this is, 5.5. If we were to take away the square uh, restrictions, we would see that the shaking would go, I guess, somewhere up to Ridgecrest. Not Ridgecrest is up there. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, shakes all this. Now, this thing, this thing here is basically across the border. But uh, the 5,000 some odd people reporting it to USGS obviously are Americans, I guess. Okay, so there must be around San Diego, Los Angeles. I wouldn't be surprised if they felt it. If you're there in San Diego, Los Angeles, or San Diego, I'm sure felt it. Um, it's big, 5.5 is not small. And uh, tell us if you're there, how many seconds it was and what experience you had. You can leave your comments if you'd like. And if you felt it in Los Angeles, I'm sure they did. Um, because you can see how intense it is. All right, so it's right on the San Andreas Fault, and we have a, a whole system of faults here. This is the Salton Sea volcano. They have a geothermal plant there. They also have a geothermal plant across the border in Mexico. This is the area of 
San Andreas. San Andreas and Hayward Fault meet here, Pinnacles. We've had a couple of quakes there as well uh, in, the, in recent past, just a, minute, a few days ago. Let's go in a little bit more. And we'll go into the uh, past week's quakes. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's quite a lot of activity. And our San Andreas Fault here, Hayward Fault there, Pinnacles right there, Selena. And then we have the Garlic Fault here and Ridgecrest here. And this is Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. All right, so this is our mantle plume going from here, as we saw before, feeding the west coast here, the high threat volcanoes here, and that diagonal cut that we saw going up this way feeds into uh, Yellowstone right here. So uh, we'll see what kind of activity we're going to have after this 5.5 at the Estacion Coahuila. Baja area, California, Mexico. This is ex the exact position that uh, goes into Yellowstone and also feeds the West Coast here. Okay, so we'll have to see what kind of activity we're going to get. This is what we've had today. The blue is today and the red is the past hour. Okay, so I'll leave links below for you for this on Sizemore Berkeley and USGS. Again, this is a cross-section of the exact location that we had, the 5.5 magnitude, and the uh, direction of the plume towards Yellowstone, as you can see. And uh, how hot does that get? How hot is the plume under Yellowstone? It says here, try 1,800 degrees. The heat produced by the scorching hot rocks, officially known as a mantle plume, was measured at 150 milliwatts per square meter. That's not far from the heat produced under Yellowstone National Park. And that happens to be measured at about 200 milliwatts per square meter. Now the hot magma plume found under Yellowstone is more than 1,800 miles underneath the supervolcano. Researchers found evidence of a hot magma plume under Yellowstone Scientists argue the plume is providing the heat for Yellowstone and its hot springs, and the plume reaches from the Earth's core mantle boundary to the base of Yellowstone's crust. Well, that could be a still, a still a mystery. They believe that it could be somehow, uh, it's not directly from underneath the core up towards Yellowstone. It's somehow diagonally going, pointing from Baja towards Yellowstone, and it's going directly that way because of the Farallon plate the ancient plate of uh, the Pacific that's lodged underneath the uh, west coast and uh, uh, digging towards the core of the earth and that's what's causing the mantle plume to shift towards the northeast that way towards Yellowstone. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church.
Thank you.